To the record breaking deep freeze gripping the Northeast. Major cities with historically low temperatures. New Yorkers braving the cold, which is expected to last through this evening. And in Boston, ice fog off the harbor, a phenomenon more commonly seen in Arctic regions. ABC's Victor Akendo is in Boston for us tonight. Tonight, New England in the grips of an historic Arctic outbreak. Well, it is one of the coldest mornings we have seen in the past several years. In New Hampshire, Mount Washington feeling wind chills of 108 degrees below zero, the coldest ever recorded in the U.S. So really just that cold, uh, and if those temperatures for us will sit in uh, in less than one minute. Portland, Maine, reaching a wind chill of minus 45 degrees Friday night, shattering its all-time record. That Arctic air creeping into this resident's home. This morning, Boston bottoming out at 10 below, the coldest air in the city since 2016. We're right along Boston Harbor. This is a pretty rare sight. Take a look. That's ice fog being pushed around by the wind. This only develops in extremely cold temperatures. And in New York City, the temperature nearly as frigid. Sea smoke blanketing New York Harbor. This water fountain in Midtown, frozen solid. 10 below zero here in Boston this morning was the first double digit negative temperature here since 1957. While a warm up is thankfully on the way, still a few more hours with dangerous wind chill temperatures ahead. Lindsay, looking forward to that warm up, Victor. Thank you. Let's get straight to ABC's senior meteorologist Rob Marciano. Rob, these record breaking temperatures certainly brutal, but perhaps short lived. Yeah, this is thankfully a textbook cold snap to which we snap into it and out of it around the same pace. So we'll get out of it pretty quickly, but a dangerous night ahead. And we saw a slew of records fall, not just in Boston, but down I-5, I-95 from Providence to Bridgeport, Hartford, and Newark. And tomorrow's not going to be any sort of picnic. I mean, it's going to be one degree for a wind chill in Albany and still under that wind chill warning in Caribou, 30 below, 6 in Boston, and 9 in Hartford. But here comes the bounce back, a 20, 30 degrees warmer from the morning lows into the upper 50s from Philly. New York all the way to Boston, staying there on Monday and Tuesday. That'll feel great. Meanwhile, in the Pacific, storms are lining up again. So California, Oregon, Washington, heavy rain, some mountain snow could see one to two feet of additional snowfall adding to that snowpack to try to get us out of that drought. And that's where the cold air is going to stay over the next seven to ten days. And looks like the warming trend will continue after this cold snap into February 13th for the Northeast. Lindsay. Rob, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.